Hello and welcome to Atherton On Air. I'm Addie Shaney and here's what's trending. Well, it's official. JCPS is reopening for in-person instruction in just a matter of weeks. It's been nearly a year since JCPS closed all of its schools as a result of the COVID pandemic. But now the superintendent and the school board have agreed upon a plan to reopen using a hybrid schedule. Elementary schools opened first on March 17th and 18th, while high schools were open their doors right after spring break on Monday, April 5th. Atherton On Air correspondent Kato Mulrooney brings us all the details. This school year has definitely been like no other, but after nearly a year of NTI, it looks like there might be a light at the end of the tunnel. On Thursday, February 25th, JCPS Superintendent Marty Polio gave his annual State of the District address, where he shared his recommendation to the Board of Education for getting kids back into school. Polio said that this is one of the most complex things we'll ever do in JCPS and that it won't be a school like we all left it last March. But regardless, that he will focus on a safety-first approach for both students and educators. Polio's original recommendation to the board is as follows. On March 17th, grades K-2 through will go back to school, followed by grades 3-5 through on March 18th, and early childhood programs on March 22nd, all three groups going five days a week. Middle and high school are set to start on a hybrid learning schedule on April 5th with last names A through K going in person Monday and Tuesday, last names L through Z going in person on Thursday and Friday, and all students learning remotely on Wednesday. Also, each level will still be given an option to continue learning virtually. Later that night at 6 p.m., the JCPS Board of Education held a meeting to vote on Polio's initial reopening plan. Some of the topics addressed were contact tracing, transportation, employee accommodations, extra staffing, and other safety measures that will be taken. The meeting ran for over three hours and is available on YouTube to watch if you just so happen to miss it. When it came time to vote, board member James Craig proposed an amendment to Polio's original reopening plan. The amendment stated that elementary schools would go back on a hybrid schedule similar to that of middle and high school, with the exception of ECE who have the option for five days in person. The amendment passed unanimously and the full reopening plan passed four to three. The final decision was met with a mass of controversy, ranging from people who love the idea of going back to school to people who absolutely hate it and everything in between. My mom, a JCPS elementary teacher of over 20 years, shares her thoughts on going back to school in a little less than a month. Uh, my name is Jennifer Mulrooney. I'm an MTSS resource teacher at Lane Elementary and I'm the parent of a JCPS high schooler. Um, initially, when we spoke about it in October, I was very excited. Um, as a teacher, I missed the kids and wanted to get back. I wanted my kids in a normal routine. Um, but then, of course, that passed. Uh, fast forward to now, again, we were excited, ready to go, had a five-day plan ready. And then, as of last Thursday, it all kind of got thrown out the window. So we are now going hybrid, which I am very nervous about, uh, but excited. As a JCPS parent, um, it is different than being a JCPS employee. Um, I think it's good uh, for you all to get back, obviously, for your mental health and the socialization and just the getting back into a routine. Um, I think it's going to be a struggle. Um, actually, I just left a meeting where we're discussing our hybrid plan. I think it's going to be a struggle in the beginning, but I have no doubt that uh, JCPS employees will rally around and we'll get it done. It'll be taken care of. We will continue to keep you updated on any more information regarding reopening plans. For Atherton On Air, I'm Caden Mulrooney. Thanks, Caden. No matter how you may feel about it, this is definitely big news. Like Dr. Polio said himself, this is a task unlike any other that JCPS has faced before. What do parents think of this reopening plan? Their reactions are just as varied as yours. Here's Atherton parents Patrick Spagnola and Karen Davis sharing their initial thoughts. I don't really feel like there's any reason why it can't wait the rest of this year, have all the students get vaccinated over the summer, and start fresh at the beginning of the next school year. My name is Karen Davis. I am an elementary school teacher at Field Elementary, and I'm also an Atherton mom. Um, so generally, I'm excited about being able to go back into the building to see my kids um, that I haven't seen all year, and I'm hopeful that... Um, even if we're gonna to be together for only a few weeks, that it will be um, enough to get closure for the year and give the kids what they need. And as a parent, 
um, um, helpful for my daughter to be able to go back and see her friends and um, finish out the year. What about Atherton students? How do they feel about returning to campus? Sophomores Ella Brock, Ethan Lystag, and Sterling Hallman are looking forward to a change of scenery. Hello, I'm Ella Brock. I'm in 10th grade, and my opinions on JCPS reopening is that I do agree that some students will need this opportunity to go back in person because a lot of students have a harder time learning online. Uh, but on the other end, I think it is somewhat of a media stunt because uh, JCPS has been getting a lot of backlash for not opening up as soon as other schools have in the state of Kentucky. And it is also one of the biggest schools, districts in Kentucky. I personally will be going back to school because I need uh, the in-person learning because virtual in some classes is not teaching me anything or it's not teaching me enough to be able to take a final on it. Um, I think going back to school will be different, but I think in the end it'll be a good way to get somewhat readjusted to being in person, considering we've been online for a year now. Um, but I'm also sad to see that half of my friends won't actually be at school at the same time as me. So that's a bit of a downer. Uh, otherwise, I'm pretty excited to go back. But uh, I just hope that everyone is able to stay safe and wear masks. On the top of, of going back to school, I think I am going to go back after some thought. Uh, my parents mainly said it's up to me. But I've decided I want to go back because as fun as um, waking up two minutes before class and clocking in, um, it'd be nice to get a little change of scenery from being in my room all the time and uh, having a full asynchronous week on on besides on Thursdays and Fridays sounds pretty good to me. But I'm also worried about is it even worth it going back for 14 days? That doesn't seem that worth it to me, but and also the topic of being safe, but um, all the teachers have done, have told me their research. You've told me your research, Mr. Boros, and there's no, there's no real concerns about um, the virus much anymore in schools. So I think I am gonna go back and we'll see how it goes. I agree with the school board decision on letting kids go back to school in person. A lot of kids are failing this year. And I think the biggest reason is because people are doing virtual school. And also from statistics in Kentucky shows that student to student transmission of the virus is very low. Um, and also the teachers are getting vaccinated. They should have, um, if they let teachers get vaccinated so early, then they should let kids back in school. So that's why I agree with the school board's decision on letting kids physically go back to school. Here's what some other Atherton students had to say about the plan. I am concerned that cases are gonna go back up and they were starting to go down. It wasn't like a bunch, but there was like a, it was starting to decline and I'm scared that the cases are gonna skyrocket. So hopefully they do not. I am personally am going back to school mainly because my parents are making me, but if it was my decision, I'd go back because my work ethic during NTI has not been the greatest. Um, In-person school, I feel like is gonna be very, uh, it's gonna be like school, but it's gonna be very different because everyone's gonna have masks. It's gonna be a lot more separation uh, than what there normally was. I feel like it would be good for me because I'm kind of outgoing person. Uh, I can't express that a lot on Google Meets just because it's awkward like I don't know it's just very awkward and I have trouble like <laughs> talking to people on there it's just because we don't know each other and as where if we were in school I would probably know some of the people by now and yeah what am I looking forward to I'm just looking forward to um, getting back into the group of things getting back to some sense of normalcy and getting back to sports just because it's been like a year Many of your teachers may have sore arms right about now. 
On Wednesday, Atherton staff returned to Broadbent Arena for their second dose of the Moderna COVID vaccine. Lines were much shorter this time and teachers were able to drive right through with minimal waiting for their second shot. Health experts say that it takes about two weeks after the second dose until the vaccine is fully effective. Clinical trials show that the vaccine is just over 94% effective in preventing infection. Special congratulations are in order for this week's Freshman of the Week, Wynn Pipes. As Ms. Vo explains, he is quite the poet and an absolute joy to have in class. Hi everybody in the Freshman Academy. I'm here to congratulate Wynn Pipes as this week's Freshman Student of the Week. So Wynn is in my second period English class. He wrote a beautiful poem in my class that had such a positive message to it, and I was just so proud of him for that. In addition, he is just always extremely positive. Um, he has just a great outlook on school, on everything. Um, I, he just goes above and beyond every single day. Um, he's great in his small groups. He participates in our large groups. He engages. Um, he has had some very insightful things to say during Socratic seminar. So when I just really value having you in class and I appreciate everything you do. Thank you for making this time so enjoyable for me being your teacher. Is it too cold to go swimming? Not if you're a member of Atherton's basketball team. They recently participated in the polar plunge to raise money for the Special Olympics. That water looks so cold but the guys were all very brave and raised money for a great cause. We see you Rebels and we are proud of you. Jack Harlow has traveled all the way from the halls of Atherton High School to the big stage of 30 Rockefeller Plaza studio in New York City. When former cast member Maya Rudolph returns to host Saturday Night Live on March 27th, Atherton alum Jack Harlow will be the musical guest. Saturday Night Live is one of the longest running network shows in America, premiering in 1975. Thanks for watching Atherton on Air. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at atherton.on.air. And remember, what you do makes a difference. <laughs> <laughs>